In this quick lesson, I'll show you eight examples on how to predict whether an ionic compound is soluble. Question one reads, is each compound soluble or insoluble? Starting with question A, we have lead chloride. Now normally in an ionic compound, if it contains chlorine, it makes the compound soluble. However, if chlorine is coupled with lead in our case here, specifically lead two plus, there's an exception to this rule making this compound insoluble. Our next compound is copper chloride. As I mentioned in part A, this compound contains chlorine. Chlorine makes compounds soluble. Copper is not an exception to the rule. So this compound is soluble. Next we have calcium nitrate. Compounds containing nitrate, specifically NO3 with the charge of negative one are always soluble. And finally, we have barium sulfate. This compound is insoluble, even though you're probably thinking, well, compounds containing sulfate are soluble. Although when sulfate is coupled with barium, it acts as an exception to the rule, making this insoluble. Question two asks the same thing. Is each compound soluble or insoluble? Let's start with question A. We have nickel sulfide. For this question, there's a simple rule to remember. Most sulfides are insoluble or have very low solubilities. So we can rest assured that this is insoluble. Our next compound is magnesium phosphate. This compound, just like an A, is insoluble. Magnesium ions here are divalent. They have a charge of two plus. Phosphate ions are trivalent. They have a charge of three plus. There are strong ionic forces keeping the molecule together forming the molecule. Therefore, when you put this compound into water, there's insufficient energy to break the molecular bonds to form ions. Therefore, we'll write down IS. Next, we have lithium carbonate. Lithium carbonate is sparingly soluble in water. And as a result, we can say that it's soluble. So we'll write down soluble. And finally, we have ammonium chloride. This compound is also soluble. And the reason for that is because when you dissolve this compound into water, the ammonium ion becomes a weak acid. So it can donate protons to water, giving it this property of being soluble. Also, it's bonded to chlorine. And usually chloride ions dissociate in solution. So I'll write down soluble. And there you have it. That is how to predict whether an ionic compound is soluble.